Hello, and welcome back to Dark and Rand's Mass Effect 3. Now, Hello. now in the end game. Yay! It's been a good series, but... It's been a good run. It's also been a very long run. Yeah. I have no idea where the fuck the first fleet is. And... Eh, we're not gonna fail. At this point, even I'm not thinking of completionism. So, only thing left. Cerberus headquarters. Yep. No messages, nothing else. Only the, I mean, what? <clears throat> An end once and for all. The grim dark future of the Reaper world, there is only side quests. Seriously. Chronos Station. The M1A Red Supergiant Anadius is a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula. A cold, dying star of about 20 solar masses and 1500 times Sol's radius. Not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. ED's advisory. The size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans, which would reveal the Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. Didn't we find this place through an active scan? Nope. We found this place through, uh, uh, Cerberus Logs. From Horizon. Would have been amusing if we could have just come to this system and scanned around and <laughs> find it in a way, but have a tell to fight, looks good. fight through more units. The are ready to go. But once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready, except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... We have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. No point holding. Yep. Let's go. It's the Reapers and Cerberus who started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. going to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with anything good? I thought maybe you, you could use some company tonight. Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. Well, you thought we were going to finish the game without one more of these? Does this unit have a soul? Oh. I don't care about the key, but that hits hard. I mean, it's not about the kid. It's about everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Everyone we've lost along the way. The other ones didn't really have that much of an, uh, 
that it was, you know, we had been mostly perfect with the previous games. <laughs> Species contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. We've lost so much already. Sometimes. You don't know if what'll be left was worth the fight? I know. And when I feel that way, I reach for you. Thanks. Whenever you need me. Oh yeah, Bioware shitty Photoshop picture. Oof. I will throw shade. It is deserved. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. What? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of server's algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Okay, then. I guess that one's the side there. Yep. It isn't exactly much of a question of who the other person's gonna be. You're the updated body as well. T E T five battle suit. Yeah, I think that's good. And then, max out ED. <laughs> I like how we have just enough points to perfectly max us out. Yeah, meanwhile, well, everyone else is ends up with extra. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. But it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. <laughs> Might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, lady. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. Yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Yeah, I mean... We're all on the ship at ED, so... Yeah. Everything okay, Cortez? I'm fine. I've got repairs to make here. Give servers help. 
Oh yeah, that will fuck you up, as you can probably guess. Yeah. I need a countdown of after how many how many landings does he need to do the first? Yeah, I noticed, D Dally. And although it's not visible, there is a timer on this. Yeah, if you were listening, you'd, you'd hear one of the um, troopers mention, if we have to, we'll just vent the hangar. Needless to say, we don't want to be here when that happens. Launch. There we go. Just be like for the exit, huh? Gotta figure out where hangar control is. That might be it over there. It's not up here, the store's locked. Oh, yeah, now they're fuck now they're gonna fucking vent the hangar on us. Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. So I was right. Just they hadn't unlocked the door for us so kindly yet. <coughs> Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. I noticed. <laughs> Better not stop us now. I will be so dissatisfying. Get down from there. <laughs> yes, you are taking casualties. You aren't stopping us here. Well, I'm pretty sure the Lucy man can't just escape from here. Hey, you think the pilot's paying attention damage. to which direction that fighter's facing? No, no, no. Why would he pay attention to that? He doesn't need to pay attention. No one would make him just fly right into a wall or something. Launching fighter. Central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. I don't think they appreciated that. Perhaps. Intruder alert. That's okay. All personnel prepare for security lockdown. Their appreciation was not a factor. Thank you. Is that, that is a factor. Yes. It's a factor known as a constant. Is there still one over there? Yeah, there's still some over there. Oh! Another atlas. I don't appreciate that at all.
Denied. That was the last Cerberus team in this area. Good. We can move on. I hope so. I could use a moment. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> of course we would. Again. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. <laughs> and if I hadn't brought you along... <laughs> Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Protean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. I get the feeling walking through the fire is probably not going to be the best plan, though. Even though I would absolutely do it anyway. This is a vacuum sealed suit. <laughs> Yes, I did. Yoink. Don't know why I swapped weapons, but it works. Yeah, fair enough. Probably my oversensitive mouse wheel. Oh, possibly. Am I out of ammo? No. They are throwing their legs away. I wonder why. Oh, right there in the comments. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. Oh, it contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Oh. Oh my. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Gila, are you all right? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know why. You are real. Well, I thought, huh? Real and mine. See, this is why we bring Tali. <laughs> Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. 
Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He needs to die. Basically, he intentionally staffed the SR2 with the most sympathetic people he could find, along with people we knew, so we'd keep playing along. Yep. Uh, we are clear to proceed. Detention team, what's your status? We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Um, okay. Hull integrity may be compromised. Gee. Gee, no shit. Someone needs to make a counter about how many times I say no shit. Mmm, numbers don't go that high, Dar. I disagree. Um, okay, I guess I can't grab him. There's anyone. Yoink. Talk about having a bad day. Just got, <laughs> just got yanked right over to me. You okay over there? Yeah. I don't know. Temperature difference is being kind of weird with. It is season turnover. Yeah. Still yeah. kind of amusing. We're not even living together, and I call and I call your coffin. <laughs> oh. Hi. No. Still good on ammo. Let's go. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Which console? This one. one. No. No. That one. <coughs> Shut up. Oh boy, more You remember that mission? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of an interesting uh, background for her. Mm-hmm. Cause she only killed us like three times. <coughs> and now she's also combined with Reaper. Too. Cyber warfare, sweet doctor. Nothing more. 
Are you sure about that? Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without just extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. <laughs> Trainer would agree with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she flooded their servers with porn. Also, you know, Project Eva, yeah, wh which is now being inhabited by Edie. Edie. <laughs> yep. You never told me about servers trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zetabytes. Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke, I know. And thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Stays loyal. Well, I mean, Ava stayed loyal. The 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 person borrowing the body didn't. about to get interesting in here. Oh my. What's over here? Medi gel. Armor piece. Choke on it, you Cerberus bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Wasn't even a fight. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough in Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard, he should have died on Vessia. Should I finish him? I'd rather you avoid killing Shepard for now. If possible. For now. Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Yeah, see how well that worked out for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason we're here. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, aren't, you aren't doing a very good job of being... If you lose the man's top top attack dog, are ya? Mm -hmm. Alright. Down to hatch.
Kila, is that the Proto Reaper from the Collector base? What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those civilians, families, turned into that. And Cerberus has it on display. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I don't regret standing with you when you were with Cerberus, Shepard. But I'm glad we're shutting this down. So am I. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Then shoot it. I didn't bring a big enough gun for that. Not that I'm whether you brought enough and a big enough gun is about whether you brought enough ammo. Get back over here, bitch. Fun fact. Uh if you uh didn't do Grissom Academy and save Jack, she'd be a uniquely named phantom here. Similarly, if you didn't activate Legion or sold him to uh, Cerberus, he'd show up as just Geth Assassin. Reprogrammed and very hostile. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. <laughs> Get out from behind there. Having a bad day, buddy? Okay. Is it dead? I guess so. so yeah, I didn't really bring a big enough gun for that. I, I kind of left my cane at home. <laughs> yeah, if only we could have brought it. At least it's not trying to kill us this time. Yeah, small things, right? Get out where I can see you, damn it. Uh. Where'd it go? I don't remember hitting it. Also, I'm low on ammo. I should... Probably find some bullets. Probably. Oh look, bullets. <laughs> I like how we're still finding money. Like we can't even go to the Citadel at this point. Yeah, not not really much of a point to aim it. Unless they let you import the safe for the sequel. <laughs> what sequel? They did announce one. Kind of. Sort of. Okay, what have they done this time? <coughs> what, what entries? Grayson's brain is a mess. It must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive. If we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. Hmm. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already 
hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Hmm. So he basically indoctrinated himself. More or less. Paragon or Renegade. Uh, Paragon, I give him one last chance. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the catalyst. With the crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is. Admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus and Ruins, mm -hmm. you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. 
But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Uh, Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Didn't we beat the odds? Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. Edie. There you are. Not so fast. How about you? He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Out of my fucking face. This is better than Cessia. More personal. Yeah, just me and you, none of your flunkies to save your ass. Hmm. Never mind. What it looks like, you've chosen death. Yep. You gotta be running out of power conduits to sap, buddy. Nah, I don't think I will. Motherfucker. <laughs> he just got slammed in the fucking face.
So satisfying. Yep. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of control. I'll stop them. <laughs> like I said, I'll stop them. Besides, and yet I already took care of them. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. Yeah? You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Major defeat, second battle of the Citadel. Priority, Earth. Yeah. Only one left though, huh? <coughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I bet I got new messages. But, may as well... Clearly we have more side quests to do. <laughs> but, may as well take a moment to speak to everyone. Make sure everyone's ready for what's about to happen. Yep. Mechs, check. Fighters, check. Extra guns, check. Marines, check. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Leng must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to her. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. On a different topic. Mm. Everything okay, Shepard? Sure. Hmm. Well, I thought <laughs> he had had something to say. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Make sure all my guns are up to date. Deandra. Is Andra level 10? Maddox is 10. Venom needs to be leveled up. Where's the Venom? There it is. Ten, ten, ten. Can I fit the Indra on there with all that? Oof. No, I cannot. It's a minus 100%. Well, as much as I love the Indra, I've made do with the Matic. So I guess I'll keep using it. And that's solid arsenal. <laughs> 
Yeah. A gun for every occasion. Indeed. Alright then. Just check on everyone up here. Wow, absolutely nothing to say. <sighs> Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it, it, it's you. You know? No chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. <sighs> Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, oh, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. <laughs> She's had enough of it. Gabby, yeah. please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just listen to yourself. Ken, if you comment on every We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby. I think your legs are spectacular. Well, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start. Commander yeah. Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever yeah. happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adam. Give him hell, sir. Keep doing a good work, kid. Mm -hmm. Javik, I'm sure you have opinions. Oh boy, a full conversation. Looks familiar. Oh my. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. <laughs> you and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. <coughs> Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection... All I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Hmm, that's, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the rebirth, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah Four, the Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? 
The Reapers came. Planet by planet, we were extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry, I had no idea. Until the battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Yeah, that's... Oof. Yeah, big oof. Really big oof. Cerberus is well and truly gone. I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? Damn. Yeah? You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Alright. What are Garrison Tally getting up to over here? Shepard, we were just saying goodbye. And making friendly wagers. Optimistic wagers, in your case. A Turian military operative competing with a Korean mechanic, and I'm the optimistic one. Do you remember Ilos? Yes. It was filled with Geth, which tilted the odds in your favor. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> I doubt you'll be hacking any synthetics this time. I still have the shotgun. I'll be sure to let a few Reaper forces get close enough for you to use it. <laughs> of course, if they get past me, they'll be right on top of you. That's what the armor's for. <laughs> you two have been with me longer than most. You believed in me when nobody else did. Thanks. We'll finish this the way <laughs> we started it. Together. Damn right. That sounds like a good idea. Let's drink the two of them. <sighs> True companions. Well, if you want to drink Javik, that would be Yeah, yeah. Javik would be an interesting choice, but I think it's proper yeah yeah the only ones who stick with us through us up through it all yeah. huh. nothing else here how are you holding up they are nervous frightened anxious to go but glad I'm here and I'm ready whenever you're ready Shepard in fact I think I've checked my equipment three times stop me if I try for eight Stop me if I try for it. That's oh. uh, about a few messages. Yeah. Harvester research from an academic dissertation. Harvesters are gigantic insects easily distinguished by their long necks and incredible size. The origins of these creatures is a mystery, though recently they have begun to appear unexpectedly on multiple uncharted worlds in the Attican Traverse. Some have suggested they have been in hibernation, and like locusts, have emerged from after a long period of inactivity. Others point out that the bizarre morphology of harvesters runs counter to the known laws of adaptive evolution. 
Their forward loaded body and undersized wings suggest they are a product of illegal genetic engineering. Regardless of their origin, harvesters are fast, efficient killers. They attack anything that enters their territory with toxic venom and razor sharp claws. Despite their ungainly appearance, their exoskeletons can only be penetrated by heavy weapons. Attacking them while in a vehicle is dangerous. Attacking them on foot is suicidal. I can't help but wonder if the, har if the Reapers created the Harvesters, or if their spread across the galaxy was an unhappy coincidence. Glyph tagged his dissertation and forwarded it to relevant experts. If you remember, there was a creature that looked just like a Harvester in Mass Effect 2 during Grunt's loyalty mm. mission. It would show up, drop a bunch of bugs, and cause a bit of ca chaos before fucking off. Hmm. Kind of sounds familiar. <coughs> Disregarded Reaper Hypothesis, lecture by Dr. Wu. The Reapers were nothing but a galactic myth, and they were a story told to explain how the light of Protean civilization was snuffed out, a menace lurking in the unknown, a past and future doom. Unfortunately, the Reapers turned out to be real. They are myths made for manifest. They stride through cities like gods wielding power incomprehensible. They are unstoppable, unknowable, or are they? <clears throat> our universe is not ruled by religion, but by science. The Reapers are machines with abilities that lie beyond our understanding, but are grounded in scientific principle. <clears throat> they are Im not immortal. There are reports of destroyed capital ships. They, are bi they built the Citadel and a mass relay network, but so, but so could we through enough time and knowledge. It is through this adherence to science and knowledge of their construction and intention for the Citadel and mass relays that has led to my current hypothesis regarding a weakness. By all classified accounts, the Citadel is a gargantuan mass relay that connects to a region of intergalactic space where the Reapers lie dormant. It's a trap, as is the entire relay network, to enable the swift and systemic genocide of a galaxy. It is telling in that the Reapers rely on their own network for rapid transport to the center of the galactic civilization. We know that the defeat of the Collectors led to the Reapers waking from dormancy, and within a few months they had reached our galaxy to start their cyclical harvest. Why rely on the Citadel when they can travel to the Milky Way at such incredible speeds? Machines and artificial intelligence work on the concept of logic. They know that using the relays is efficient. It drains minimal power reserves compared to using FTL technology. At the vast speeds employed by the Reapers to reach us from dark space, it is my belief that they traditionally use the Citadel because the journey by FTL severely drains their power reserves, and that, as a consequence, the Reapers that we fight today are weaker than they're supposed to be. It is a chilling thought. Yeah, that's... Scary. Like, if these ones are wicked... Like, An archive... Wicked. An archive message. Project Hellion pilot training. The Vorcha pilots! Oh, yeah. Our cadets had their first tests on the simulators today, which turned out to be as entertaining as it sounds. When they arrived, they were like a pack of dogs when they first meet, all excited and yapping. It was almost sweet. None of them took to the simulator. Once they were in, they spent the first half hour throwing up and the other trying to get out. There were a few belly laughs in the office, I can tell you. We weren't laughing by the end of the day. Something had kicked in. We had been told their adaptability, but we didn't realize it would be that quick. Or that, or they that versatile. By sundown, we were dragging them from the cockpits. They became naturals and rode the motions with ease. Bastards took me weeks to get to that level. Their first flight. We certainly underestimated them. They obey orders. They display ferocity, ferocity in combat. They are fearless and they are naturals in the air. I wouldn't say they equal our pilots in the Alliance, nor the Turians, but these are early days of our experiments. Who knows what a few generations down the line will bring us, but then who knows if we will get a few more generations. At least the Reaper War is proving, providing us with extensive data on their skills. H Hellion 1. Birthday. Today's the day. We've been planning this for two years. Endless meetings, constant revaluation of training procedures, and a complete rebuild of our housing facilities, and now we'll finally get to meet our little babies. Steven keeps telling me not to think of them that way, but I'm sure even Vorcha babies are cute. Babies are always cute, even soft ones without carapace. I cannot wait to see, see them. Just two hours to go. Angie, I think I need new eyes. <laughs> Steven was right. I was so very wrong. Spirits have to be the ugliest species in the galaxy. I am loath to admit it, but I am struggling to build a bond with the vicious little gremlins. They are not only vile to look at, but violence is a common factor whether they are alone or socializing. 
The Asari experiments on Parasect claimed that violence is not innate to their genetic makeup. But I'm not so sure. They're nasty pieces of work. 16 cuts and 4 bites and it's not even the end of their first week here. I've heard the research team on Ikram are making great strides with the Kirik. I'm no fan of insectoids, but they have to be better than Vorcha. I was wrong. I look back on my Again. previous entries, and I'll admit to being shamed by them. Well, perhaps not when it comes to their looks. But I have to admit that when you look after them day by day, you start to see, them and see the good in them. It has been a year since we started the project, and they have grown quickly. We've trained them to be more docile than the rest of their kind. One or two are even comparatively gentle. Their speech is beyond their peers, and violence only happens when there is a reason to. The Asari were right. Violence is not innate in their genetic makeup. It is a social convention that they're easily susceptible to. Soon they'll, they'll be enrolled in the military aspect of this experiment, but I'm strangely worried for their future. They will never be safe on Heshock with their own spe society, nor will they be safe in the wider galaxy. I wonder if there's even a place for them. The new batch. Our second generation of Orcha will be brought in today. I find I'm strangely excited again. They won't be as I once naively hoped. But I thought long and hard about the benefits of this experiment. Could we be the ones who begin to fix the Vorcha problem for the galaxy? Will our work bring them to a stable civilization or worthy of membership among the stars? I doubt I'll find out in my lifetime, but the possibilities are tantalizing. I'll do my part for them. Plus, the challenge is always welcome. Yeah, fair enough. Transcript of Tassoni's message to Pathfinder Alec Ryder. So, Andromeda. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll, ever e if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs ever made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened. I'm with Commander Shepard. I think we heard it. In one of the mod when missions. When she's, yeah, when she sent the herself. Yeah, 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 this, you're yeah. Right. I think it also is also plays in Andromeda. Probably. From Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. The Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. With the information you've been sending us on servers, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We we'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you procured a class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus braces were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of no known affiliation. The Alliance cannot official condo officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. Good luck, Miss Lawson. <laughs> good to know Miranda's making good use of her time. Yeah. Alright. Just a couple more people to check in on. Yeah, I bet there's fucking new messages. Probably a whole lot of good luck and here we go. Yeah, go on. So, on that note, here we go. Gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Uh, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. That's mine now. Yep. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. <coughs> Fair enough. You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nice. Yeah. I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading <laughs> back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens... What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's going to happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. 
Thank you. Commander. It's been a hell of a run. Trainer, anything you gotta say? Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You were credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. <laughs> Irunian Command, Storm Cloud. From General Jalat. Oh, this is um, Volusk. Earth Clan. Under Operation Storm Cloud, the Vol Protectorate has invested considerable resources to hunt down and neutralize the harvester threat. This has proven a substantial challenge, but it's finally paying dividends. We've located a potential target. By lining up pre-war -cre creature sightings we've res with recent intel about Reaper movements, we've identified Terrath as a harvester breeding ground. We've hidden the fleet just beyond Lucerne's hemosphere, heliosphere, but we need a stealth ship to scout at the exact target location. It's imperative that this mission remains secret. If we succeed, by no means will it be the end of the harvester threat. But this will be a major victory for the coalition. I have no idea how we're supposed to do that. Uh -huh. I don't even know where that is. And Kaylee Sanders, final project update. This will probably be my last transmission before we go into battle, so I want to thank you for all your work in bringing our teams together. I truly don't know if we've done enough, but with so many minds looking at the Crucible, we've given it our best shot. The effect of using the Crucible is still largely an unknown, but we've placed firewalls on certain interfaces and entirely isolated subsystems that seem suspicious to our techs. While we cannot be sure that the Reapers did do anything to the schematics, we've been extra careful to try and keep what looks like weapons tech while eliminating anything we don't understand. How effective we've been, at rem been remains to be seen, but at least we've done everything we can to ensure there's no nasty surprises for us. Even though we've done our best in this regard, the Crucible is still a highly complex and delicate st structure, vulnerable to even the slightest damage. Luckily, I just have to look out the window at the fleet's massing to feel some confidence that we can deliver it intact. I can only hope that there are enough of them out there to do the job. A few of the teams have also volunteered to stay on board till the Crucible docks to the Citadel, and I think I might join them. That way we can t continue to adjust the interfaces until the last minute, maybe even deal with any latent trickery by the Reapers. Special Forces teams will be there as protection and to help with in any evacuation. Oh, do we have no idea if that will even be possible once the thing fires up. The courage of the teams involved is humbling. It makes me proud to be a part of this undertaking. David was right to place his faith in you, Shepard, because we owe this attitude to the example that you have provided. Your ability to hammer out a resolution to conflict or to forge an effective team from disparate species has been an inspiration to us all. Once again, thank you for all that you've done. So much of this has been p possible due to your efforts. And no matter how things turn out, we all owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you. I mean, the Geth, the Rachni, the Krogan, everyone. I know, like, literally all of the species that could have never seen eye to eye. Yeah. Can we actually investigate anything else? Is there any update to this? No. Order the fleets to Earth. Notice every other icon's gone now. Yep. There's nothing left. Mm-hmm. Only to finish the fight. Wrong, f wrong series. <laughs> <laughs> we have. You're welcome. <laughs> we have one more episode to go. So Goodbye. we'll see you next time for the end game. Later.